Today I want to talk about uh, motorsports. If you're not interested in motorsports, well, I understand if you go ahead and leave this video unwatched. Anyway, I recently watched three endurance races. The 24 Hours of Dubai, which ended up considerably shorter. Somehow the, it rained in the desert. That was one race. The next race was 24 Hours of Daytona, which set a record for the longest green flag run and the most laps total. I'm pretty impressed by that. Uh, the final race was the 12 Hours of Bathurst, which also set both of those records. Now, you, a lot of people might be thinking that Daytona is just a speedway, and that's all NASCAR uses. But there is an infield section that is used by sports cars, and they can move around there quite quick. Plus, right by or before NASCAR turn three, they've added a bus stop chicane, which is really tricky, especially if you miss one of the turns because then you get, end up in this hole that keeps getting deeper and deeper. That was. The final location you might not have heard of is Bathurst. And it's basically the site of a mountain. And they talk about the mountain biting people or cars and teams because the walls are really in close. There's not much room. And everything is high speed. It's the upper part of the track twists and men's back and forth. It's a good way to replace to really get a lot of damage. A lot of cars do not finish simply because of accident damage. A race that I'm looking forward to next month is the 12 hours of Sebring which they're now calling Super Sebring because the same weekend they're also going to have a 1,000-mile race put on by the WEC. The other race at Sebring, the 12-hour, is a IMSA race. Both of these are sports cars. In fact, all the races I've mentioned so far are sports cars. Next month, we're also going to be seeing the 2020 uh, St. Pete race uh, for IndyCar. And it is a open, IndyCar is an open wheel track or system. Most of their, a lot of the races are on ovals, and I kind of ignore those. But when they're on a street or road course like St. Pete, I do tend to watch them. And the walls are in relatively close with this track, aside from where they use a runway, which is really wide, and they can get almost four or five abreast on that runway. But we'll see. Next month is also going to be the start of the 2020 Formula One season, which is always they seem to prefer starting in Australia at the Melbourne track, which is around a lake, so it's fairly flat, not a whole lot of terrain to worry about. And the flatness kind of prevents people from being able to see the whole track at once. But it's... a really good track in most other aspects anyway that's it for this video 
If you don't like motorsports, well, I'm guessing a lot of people like foot, American football or soccer or basketball, and I don't care for any of those. So, to each his own, I guess. Bye.